Welcome to the consignment solution. At Recify, we believe in providing solutions for businesses. And in order to do that, what we want to do is to understand your business model. This is very important because then we can mold our software and all the components of the software to meet your business needs. In essence, we are your technology partner. And we also want to ensure that not only do we meet your business needs, but we also meet your digital marketing campaign or our five pillars of our online campaign. And these five pillars, we believe that your website, meaning your web app and your mobile app should meet these five. They sh it should be functionable. It should be that it creates loyalty. All right? There should be loyalty programs. It should be that it, you can socialize from it. It should be that you can communicate, both you can communicate with the customer and the customer with you. And ultimately, you should be able to analyze it. These five pillars are very important when we're designing your website and when we're designing your mobile app. Right? So as we go through this presentation, what I'm going to show you is how the functionality of this web app creates the customer to want to come back and use this website. Hence, the functionality creates the loyalty, loyalty creates the trust, and then the trust creates the purchasing. And this is why your web app and your mobile app must, must have functionality, must have a use as well as they must create the loyalty. So I'm going to show you that as well and socialize and, and ultimately, you know, must be able to communicate with you. So let's take a look. Let's talk about DivaWare. The reason I like to use a live site, a live customer, is because it helps see how we helped her business increase. What her model was is that you would, through the mail, mail her or ship her a dance costume or a skating costume or a pageant wear or formal wear or dance wear. She would then clean it up. She would fix it up. She would add little rhinestones and so forth. And then she would sell it on an e-commerce package where she would then get the money for it. She would ship it to the, to the person who bought it. And then at the end of the month, she would write out a check to the consignee, the person that gave her the dance costume to consign. A very labor-intensive process. And she built a business to about a $400,000 business where she was writing somewhere between 100 to 200 checks per month. So she decided she needs a solution. She can no longer do this. It's, it, it was just, it was breaking her back, this business model. So she approached us about using our consignment module. And our consignment module has many, many different ways to mold it to your, her business practice. But what she decided is she definitely wants a consumer-to-consumer -consumer module. In other words, a way for consumers to sell directly to consumers, and she basically takes a cut. So her consignment model was hands-free. She doesn't have to touch it. Somebody would go on her website under you sell, and they would list the product, right? They could list the product as they wanted to and it's very easy to list and then um, you know ultimately once the product is up right then she would have to approve the product of course because you do not want people listing things that are are you know incorrect yeah you can see somebody has listed a race car well, the race car has nothing to do with selling or a cake or kitty or something like that so she cannot approve the listing but once it's approved you can go to the front of the website, and then other consumers can buy it very quickly and very easily, as you can see. So then you can go in, you can choose your size, you can choose your color, you can choose whatever, and then when you're ready to purchase, you hit the purchase button, and, um, and I'll just do that. And so you can actually buy this item very quickly, very easily. So she wanted that to happen. She wanted to have consumer to consumer selling. She, of course, did not want to walk away from her business model where she will actually sell for them. So you can fill out this form. You can put in your name, address, all your information, what kind of a, what kind of a, a, a costume it is, a description of what it is. You can choose the condition that's almost new, what you want to price it for. you know. And this was a new one for, do you want to accept offers? In the past, she's never accepted offers. So that was a new one for her. listing dates, 
And then again, she wants to have it that you can either ship it to her or you can drop it off at a DivaWare resale location. And those are dance studios around the San Diego area. And then, of course, a, a date when you did it. And then, of course, you would submit it and you would send in the item. Once she receives the item, now you can see uh, she has how it works. You know, once she receives the item, she will go ahead and she will clean it, clean it. She will wash it, she'll repair it, she'll photograph it, and then she will list it, creating a description and adding professional photos and so forth. For all of that effort, she she kept her business model where she will give you 70% of the profits, or the consignee 70% of the profits, and she will keep 30%. The C to C, she decided that she was only going to give she was only going to keep 10% because it was hands-free. So those became her two models that she wanted to have in her business model. And ultimately, then everything would end up on the front of the website where you could quickly purchase it. So she, again, um, needed a few other smaller items that, that, that she was interested in. She does travel around the country. And she does do shows, so she wanted to make sure that there was a point of sale. And this was integrated into the point of sale, so she could actually sell the items and use one of those swipers, like from PayPal, where you can swipe on the phone, collect the credit card, payment, and so forth and so forth. And the listing would actually be sold the same way as if the user sold it from the front of the website. So in other words, her point of sale is connected to her front of her website to her e-commerce package which is also connected to the mobile app so all the data is interconnected which was very very important for her all right there was other things that she really wanted out of the software she wanted to be able to create as many categories as she wanted of course she does do some cause marketing in other words she will sell co costumes or she will have a month where the users can sell costumes and donate all the proceeds to a cause whether it be a cancer foundation or so forth so we do handle all of the charities and causes and stuff like that she wanted an extensive reporting system which we have so you can you can get reports on everything you've sold as well as she wanted to make sure that she could have forms so you can see here we have forms where you could build forms that people could fill out so she could do surveys and things like that so people could you know um um, she could do a little marketing research and then connect this to her mailing list she also wanted to ensure that she could do reviews so you could review customers they could review each other as well as her as well as products so there was reviews built in deals and discounts she wanted to be able to put certain items on deals if they hadn't sold in eight weeks she could very quickly come in and make an item a deal, 25% off, and the item would sell very rapidly, so she wanted to have that. But the most important functionality she wanted is to do payment splits. So she wanted the ability to ensure that when a customer, when two people buy from each other, the money is automatically sent to the customer. All right, so when you purchase on the front of the website, she does not receive all of the money. So when you purchase this dress, she does not get all of this money. What, what happens is the system splits the money up and sends half the proceeds or 30% of the proceeds or 10% of the proceeds, whatever the business policy is, sends it to who, who, whomever you want it to go to. And that is what we call payment splits. It's an incredibly powerful part of the software because, again, no money comes to her that isn't hers. In other words, she doesn't have to worry about 1099 people because the money goes directly to the consignee. So if she sells somebody, if she sells something for somebody, then she splits the money up according to a business policy: 70% to the seller, 20% to her. If she sells it, if, if consumers sell it to each other, then it's 88% to the seller and 10% to her. And these are her business policies that she sets up. And she can make as many as these policies as she wants, uh, these payment slip, splits, and she can split the money up to nine ways. That's an incredibly powerful tool. She can also look at things like... Um, shipping localization she can do full language everything can be language based 
Everything can be currency based. Uh, so again, if she's branches out, she can have multiple branches, multiple cities. She can have an, an office in Denver, an office in Atlanta. She can have, um, again, she can sell in Canada. She can sell in Mexico. She can, you know, because of the peso, she can sell in Great Britain. So she can handle that. Plus, she can handle full languages. So again, she is able to do, if you know, she wants to cite in Spanish or anything like that. It's, it's all part of her software. So hopefully you can see that the DivaWare resell consignment store really turned into a very powerful website and web application utilizing the Recify consignment module. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed the presentation on the Recify consignment solution. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at Recify.com, so I-N-F-O, at Recify, R-E-C-I-F-Y.com, or you can call us at 1-844-732-4391. Another number we can be reached at is 760-851-0097. Thank you very much.